Professor Alan, Alan, okay, Professor Alan in Bedfont, England writes to me. Ooh, I don't get many professors writing to me. A little scary. Um, why do some speakers have the holes on the front and some on the back? I assume the front ones can be used closer to the wall, but as I am new to high fidelity, would really love your console. P.S. Your content thus far has given me so much information, I feel confident about said choices. Well, thank you. Gosh, from a professor and all of that. Okay. Well, the holes you're referring to are actually ports. That's how we, we call them. Us Yanks out here call them ports. And they are tuned such that as the woofer goes down in frequency, it hits a point of resonance and then its response falls off. So the port actually ables, or the hole, ex allows the bass to extend considerably lower than if you didn't have that. And of course there are sealed box speakers and they can go down too, but then there's other ways to do that. You have to use amplifier power and all that. Another way to do it is cover the hole the port with a passive radiator. Now these are a lot trickier to design. Chris designs these and these, these are like speakers in the side of the speaker, uh, but they're very tricky. It's a combination of the mass, the size, and the suspension that tunes it perfectly so that it hits and just lowers the output. So as far as in the front or in the back? Probably a good question Chris should probably answer. He'll have a lot more detailed uh, answer than I. But uh, I think it is mostly for wall placement or just not seeing it. Most speakers have their ports in the rear and just because you don't want to see it and they make a chuffing sound. So if you put your ear up to a port, you'll hear this this chuffing sound. So I, I, it's pretty rare you see them in the front because you'll hear some of that chuffing, which you never get with a passive radiator. So I suspect that is either your theory about to, you know, getting it closer to the wall so it doesn't interfere with that, or a design choice for aesthetics. That'd be my guess. Uh, maybe I can talk Chris into coming here and giving a, uh, an even more technical answer since that wasn't all that technical, but <laughs> that's basically how that works. So, all right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye.